If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. Hello, House on the Road subscribers and followers. I was told today that when I retire, I am going to be a burden on the taxpayer because I don't make enough money to uh, support uh, to pay into Social Security to support myself, and uh, I won't have a 401k because I don't work for an employer. And they based all this information on how much money I spend each month. Of course, I show everybody my monthly budget, my monthly expenses. Uh, my budget is about $850 a month. And recently, Carolyn and I have been able to stop spending to the tune of about $550, $575. This, in turn, makes me poor because I don't spend, I guess, enough. I'm told a lot that when I become more financially secure, that I'm going to be able to do things better. I'll be able to buy a better truck, buy a better camper. Life's going to get easier for me when I start making more money. Minimalism is a life choice. It's something you choose to do. I have an education. I used to be a production manager at a sheltered workshop that hired disabled folks to produce product, and we had to be competitive. I made a good living, have a good savings account. I'm debt-free. This is not, I'm poor because of bad circumstances or I'm poor because I lost my job. I'm not poor. That's the key. I'm not poor. I, I, I do programming. I don't know how this makes me poor. I have a job. So what's interesting is this person says I'm going to be a burden on society because I'm not paying into Social Security. Well, yes, I'm paying into Social Security, and I pay into Social Security more than most people because not only do I contribute my 7.5%, corporations that, you, that employ you pay the other 7.5%. Well, since I am self-employed, I pay the full 15%. Now, this is, a, this is important. I choose to live off $550. This is a life choice. I, I don't have an air conditioner on my camper because it's a life choice, choosing to live with a smaller amount of money. I live in a box that's put on the back of a four-cylinder pickup truck. Not because I can, can't afford anything else, it's because I choose not to afford anything else. This is a life choice. And that's what I keep stressing about in all my videos. If you're going to come out here, make it about the choice. Don't make it about having to come out here because you're broke. I decided to reduce the amount of money that I needed to live. I reduced the amount of money that I make, but not a lot. I would say within the percentage of things, it was an equal percentage. Let's just use this as an example. Let's say I was spending 30% of my income when I was working. I'm probably still spending 30% of my income now. This money that I have left over goes into my future this is what I've been trying to say all along spending money does not equate into how much you make and it shouldn't you should be making a ton more than you're spending if you're buying things because it's convenient and you can't figure out how to make ends meet at the end of each month stop buying things it, and it's not that complicated. I hear so many people tell me they're poor. Oh, we can't afford this, can't afford that. But they have high-tech cell phones. They have high-tech TVs. They have expensive cars. Huge car payments, huge house payments, huge RV payments. But they can't afford anything. And instead of saying, look, I've overspent. I screwed up. Nine times out of ten, those same people are saying, well, the, the employer isn't paying enough. The government isn't doing enough. The, it's always somebody else's fault. Never theirs. 
Look, I was $50,000 in debt with my wife left. She liked to spend money. She had a diamond ring on every finger. I can't remember. I think she had six or seven diamond earrings. Necklaces. She liked to play guitar. She had all kinds of guitars. We had two brand new cars. And we were trying to educate our daughter in homeschooling. When she left, I didn't blame anybody. Not a soul. I took responsibility myself. I paid off the debt in two years. Was able to save enough that I could live two years if I didn't make another dime. I did all this in two years. So it can be done. You just have to stop buying things. Stop going out to eat. Stop buying presents. Live minimalistically. So if, if you're getting the impression that I have to live out here because I'm poor, I choose to be out here. The reason I make good, bad, and ugly videos, the good, the bad, and the ugly, is because I don't think people who are forced into this lifestyle should be coming out to, this, to do this lifestyle. It's not the right way to do it. You need to do it the way I have just outlined. You have to be debt free, you have to have a savings, and you have to be putting more into savings every month than you're spending. It's vitally important. Otherwise, this, this, this commenter who thinks that they're going to be supporting me when I'm old is absolutely correct. I was in a bad situation. I was $50,000 in debt. I didn't come running out and live in my car and say, oh, whoa, it's me. Nope. I, I fixed it. And then I came out here. And I saved my life. Reduced the stress. That's the right way to do things. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video, and happy travels.